it's it's definitely been a shift. So teaching online, um, I'll start with my classroom. So teaching online is not the same as classroom teaching. And it does work for some kids, but there are a lot of students that, um, I mean, even just internet as a barrier is something. Um, but the students definitely, there's a lot of students who miss being able to put their hand up. Um, they're maybe not as confident sending an email. Um, maybe their parents are essential workers or frontline workers, and they just don't have um, the support from home to, to ensure they've got the responsibility and the initiative that they really need to get through the content. Um, the content is significantly reduced right now, and it's still hard to get it from some kids, but there's other students who are, are doing just fine and plugging away. It, every experience is different, and as a teacher, you just have to adapt and kind of figure out how best to support them. And we have a great, uh, a great um, approach, I think, in TLDSB, uh, certainly at Gravenhurst High School, that I feel like students are, um, they're on the radar. Talk about yourself then at home. I mean, obviously you're adapting with your students, but you're also adjusting to your kids at home. How's that going? As a parent, adapting from home, we, uh, we for us, it makes sense to have a routine. It doesn't work for every student um, or every family. And um, they both kind of are used to now getting into the groove in the morning. And we try and get all of the stuff we can done uh, in the morning. And then if it's not done by like lunch or even early before lunch, if that's the case, like we don't, we don't do it anymore. We catch it back up the next day. So whatever steam we've got in the morning, we get it done. And then, yeah. Well, that's the thing. That's a... It's so important, though, to keep them on some kind of routine. If we can. It's a luxury, I think. I think there's a lot of homes that there is just, like, you know, shift work. And, um, I mean, I live in my own home. I don't have neighbors in apartments. I can't imagine, like, how tricky that must be, um, you know, just sharing more of a life. Like, everyone has a complication that they're dealing with. And uh, I feel like we happen to be able to do a routine. It definitely isn't a reality for everyone. And that's something that I need to remember, like as a parent, that it's okay if our routine gets thrown out because lots of families have routine that needs to get thrown out. And my own students have routines that just need to get thrown out sometimes too. And um, yeah, just keeping that balance, but then also allowing um, the understanding that when a routine is possible, I wanna make sure for my own kids, but for my students as well, that, yeah. that they can find that routine in the work we're doing. And I would say like, remember the bigger lessons. Like we're not necessarily here to learn about, I don't know, vowels and consonants, but we are here to learn about sticking to something and, and getting it done. And the like work habits of responsibility and um, collaboration and working with other people, including people in your home, um, just patience, you know, th those soft, they're called soft skills, I guess, are just as important. And I think maybe even more important right now.